Here we see a traditional static crib sheet of gestures hosted inside Linogrammer, a gesture-based application for creating diagrams. On the left, I am presented with a series of command names and icons. However, tapping on them does nothing, and thus getting started with a gesture-based application can be quite counterintuitive to new users. To help with this problem of approachability in gesture-based UIs, we develop GestureBar. Outwardly, GestureBar appears to be a familiar toolbar, which I can browse for relevant commands. However, when I tap on a gesture-based command, rather than executing it, an animated demonstration of the gesture in context is displayed as part of the Gesture Explorer. Detail tips point out some of the essential nuances of the gesture. I can tap on the replay button to replay the animation, or I can read the text description of the gesture at the bottom. On the right, I can use the practice area to try the gesture and get interactive feedback on my performance, all without impacting my main document. Similar variations of gestures are grouped together such as in the case of complex shape. Here we can see the single line and multi-line gesture variations of complex shape in Linogrammer. Lastly, we can show a quick example of how a user might find the text command to create typeset text in their document. The user might look at the different tooltips, tap on the command, watch the animation, and read the detail tip. And then finally, practice the gesture in the practice area. Lastly, they can dismiss the Gesture Explorer and write the text in the document just as they saw before, thus completing their goal.